What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix Wi-Fi connection problems in Windows 10. This should be quite an easy tutorial and if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. So first of all, make sure that you are not using faulty hardware. This could be your wireless adapter or router you are trying to connect to. A simple restart of your router can already help you determine if it's not working properly. Next. Make sure that you are able to connect to another network connection, such as your personal hotspot. You will then see if your hardware has issues or not. When this is done, open up your task manager. From here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. On the network tab, open up the processes with network activity. Here, you can preview if any programs or other processes are able to connect to your network. Next. You will have to make sure that your network adapter is up to date. Search for Device Manager and open it up. Here, right click the network adapter you are using and select Update Driver. If you can, switch your connection to a personal hotspot or another network connection to search the web for updated driver software. If it's not possible, then select Browse my computer for driver software. Select to pick it from a list of available drivers. And from here, you should be able to reinstall your network adapter driver. When this is done, and there is still no network activity at all, then you might be using an invalid IP configuration. In this case, you will have to change your DNS to public. To do this, search for Network and open up the network status in your system settings. Here, select Network and Sharing Center. On this window, click on your Wi-Fi connection and this window will open up. Here, you can preview your IPv4 and 6 connectivity, signal quality and so on. When selecting wireless properties, the option to connect automatically when the network is in range should be selected. Next, go back and select properties. Here, double click the Internet Protocol version 4 setting and lastly, select to use the following DNS server addresses. As your preferred DNS server, use 8888 and as the alternative DNS server use 8844. I will leave all of these informations in the description below, as well as a link if you are unsure about changing your DNS server address. In this case, it's an open, public DNS address from Google, which is safe to use, even for downloads and installing software. This DNS server is also reachable with the IPv6 internet protocol. When this is done, you can close these windows and you should be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. If this problem just recently occurred and it's still not fixed, then you might have issues with your ISP plan. I recommend to contact them to make sure that everything is fine. Even construction work can disable your internet connection for some time. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.